Okay, so this is an example of a uh, file input using a standard string variable. So you see I've got my includes here, the namespace, the actual in, the input file stream, then the output file stream, the actual string that I'll be working with, and I've got a test file here. Um, going to delete it first just so you see um, we're going to try to open it and what should happen is that it'll fail this is how we can tell that the file doesn't exist yet so I'll compile that code and then <clears throat> I run input and it tells us like expected that the file isn't found and we just exit immediately afterwards so now let's create the test file and um, I'll just put in OK. Now we're going to read in um, what's ever in test. Um, it's just like input, like if you're taking input from the standard input, like you're typing in something in here and pressing enter. So if you were to have a space in here, you should already know by now that the only input you're going to get is that up to the white space, not, in, not including the white space. So if uh, we were using CIN instead of uh, in, input file stream, we would uh, be getting DF. And if, see, let's, let's, let's actually do a test. Uh, I'll put OK work. That's random words, I know. But so what should happen now is that only up to OK should be read into that string. Um, right, so at this point is when we're reading into the string. And then once that happens, we're going to print it out like an echo. We're just going to show what we had just read. And you'll see here that we only read up to o OK. Then we're going to um, concatenate to the string. So we're basically adding space good to the end of uh, OK. So it's going to be OK plus equals space good. And then we're going to close the input file. This can be done earlier. Or what the hell did I just do? This can be done uh, actually, you know, like as soon as you get the input. It doesn't have to be down there or whatever. It doesn't even have to be up here. It can be down here if you wanted to. Um, but, right, so once we have our input, we echo it, we, ex we extend it to OK, good. And then we're going to open that the same test file and overwrite it. We're going to check again if, if it's able to open the file and actually create it. Um, usually this never occurs but an error, but... Um, once we uh so I can I mean I'll just take that out for now and just I'll take I'll take these parts out because we're gonna assume now from now on the text that the file is available so just to keep this a little more organized um, right so just so you can see better what's going on here so we got the input should just be okay we're gonna show it then we're gonna expand it with good so it should be okay space good at this point and then we're gonna open the file again and print out overwrite it with okay space good and then close it so let's see what happens so we see that only up to okay was written uh, or echoed to us but you know that we we actually had okay work in there right but because we over we overwrite the file and we have uh, space good okay space good that's what's in the file now because we overwrote it with this new string that we created based off of what was there previously the okay plus the good that we just put into there ourselves so let's say you wanna keep the work right so let's say we go back to what this was and we save that exit 
And so how do we fix the whole uh, only reading up to white space thing? That's why the get line function is involved. So when we take the input over here, instead of doing this, we'll comment that out. Well, actually, I'll get rid of it at all completely so you're not looking at that. You you can actually type CN. Just like I said earlier, you can take input from uh, CN or even the file streams. It's the same thing, basically. You can do um, in file and then your in string. It's the name of our very our string variable. See, and what this is a function that's available to us from this header file, and it's described as putting in a stream here and our string variable here, where it's expected to extract the input and put it into. So now I'll save this source code and recompile it over here, and we're going to write again. Now what should happen is that OK work should be kept in the string. Then we'll add good and we'll um, see that it echoes OK work and it's going to print and it's going to overwrite the file with OK work good. So I'm going to run this and you see now it, it actually has OK work and in the file we have the entire thing now because we know that the string was kept as OK work not just OK and um, if you want to append to the uh, to the file I think it was iOS dot app for append so in the cases that you don't want to overwrite it actually you wouldn't do that here you would do that in the output stream because that's what's gonna that's the only one that's gonna be able to uh, change the file contents so let's say we want to append to what's there so we go back let's say we go back to to the uh, OK work exit and um, now when we write to the file we're not going to overwrite it but we're going to append to it so we're going to read OK work then we're going to in our string we're going to write at the end of it good so at this point we should we should have OK work good and what we're going to do is open this file in a way so that we can, when we write to it, we're going to add to the end of this file. So, um, right. So, let's just say that uh, we add a space over here in this file because we're expecting that we're not going to overwrite this. And we're going to get rid of that space there. We're expecting that uh, we're not going to overwrite this file but we're going to append to it so the OK work good should end up at the end over here so here we go we're going to recompile the source code and we're going to type input and we see that OK work and the space you can't see is there then we're going to see the text, the text file and we see like expected that we have OK work space and then our string appended to it not overwriting the text file so this is how you can use the get line and string data type to get input from files and why it's better than the doing just straight up extraction operator which is this if you forgot that alright hope that helps